you can see, uh, it's just me up here. So what I'm going to do is ask for uh, an audience volunteer. And what I'd like to see is, is anybody here seeing improv for the very first time ever? Show of hands. I can tell by the way that you switch and walk and I can so Craig, the name of this show is Matt and. It's me and you doing an improv show together. Okay. Um, surprise. <laughs> Are you comfortable with that? Sure. You have to be. You're already up there. Um, what brought you to the show tonight? Uh, birthday party for a friend. A birthday party for a friend. Cool. And this is your first time ever coming to an improv show. Yep. Well, it'll be an experience. Uh, I really appreciate you coming up here. And why don't we just go ahead and get started. Um, what you should know is that anything you say or do or don't do or whatever is all fine and perfect and exactly right. And it's up to me to make it exactly perfect and right <laughs> and worth everybody's time for coming out and uh, seeing the show. So. Whatever you do is fine. You can try to mess me up if you want. You don't have to worry about it. I do. Uh, <laughs> and it'll be great. So what we need in order to get started is a word of inspiration. Anybody yell out anything? Magic marker. Magic marker? Chicken. I heard magic marker first, but thank you for the chicken. <laughs> um, so Matt and Craig present magic marker. <laughs> Dad? Dad? Yeah? Does this look like a chicken? <laughs> that really looks more like a car. Yeah, it's a car. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. Take it. Are you gonna, um, are you gonna put it, um, on, at work, on your refrigerator at work? I uh, don't have a refrigerator at work. Um, but I'll put it up in my cube at work, though. You work in a cube? Cube. <laughs> yeah. Just like I'd show the office. I don't watch that show. <laughs> Mom says I'm not allowed to watch, like, shows for grown-ups. Really? I'm gonna draw a picture of Mom, like, yelling. <laughs> I don't think that's accurate. I think you want to be a little bigger. <laughs> I'm going to tell Mom that you said she has a big mouth. <laughs> ah! I think she's a little meaner, too. I don't think she's that nice. Girl. <laughs> that's better. It's close. Happy birthday to... Thank you very much. You should put that um, on the bed. <laughs> and then mom will be like, what is this? And you can say um, that Mike drew it and ask her what it is. And then when she guesses, you can be like, no, it's you. <laughs> and I, was, I was thinking about putting it on the refrigerator because I think it really is refrigerator stuff. Yeah, she's always eating. <laughs> <laughs> Or better yet, better yet, better yet, better yet, oh yeah, you should um, you should blow it up like they do, like it's really big, make like a poster of it, and um, put it, um, you know that thing that mom has in the van yeah. that goes in the um front windshield. <laughs> yeah, make that, and oh, I'll draw. I, I'll write angry mom. <laughs> or no. I'm me. What's mom's name? Mary. Mary. Mean Mary. Mean Mary. With two M's. Mean Mary. You married her. I did. You married Mean Mary. I did. Happy birthday. <laughs> Have a seat. Here. 
comfortable. Whoa, look at this. Ha ha. Magic. You're not very good. Shut up. I spent 50 bucks on this magic thing. Look at this ball. <laughs> hey, look at there. <laughs> I have been working day and night on learning this routine. Okay? You should support me. Am I still your dad? No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> with this attitude. It's 11.30 in the morning and you're sleeping here covered in Apple Jacks. <laughs> but you know Apple Jacks are my favorite food. Apple Jacks are not food. <laughs> and Apple Jacks should not be the favorite of anybody who is in college. Okay? I'm on the six-year program. You are not on the six-year program. I'm really trying. There is no six-year program. You are not really trying and you are going to See, what happens is I take two years of everything, and then I can't figure out what I want to do, and then I just figure out a new major. So I know what you do. You give up like you've given up everything. When you were a little kid, you used to draw, and you, you were creative. And then you decided, no, I want money. I want to drive a Porsche. I want to be like one of the cool kids. Now look at this. $58,000 a year down the drain, so you can lie here in bed all day. All day. Well, it's not day left. I mean, uh -huh. thirty. You know, there's twelve hours left. What are you going to do in those next twelve hours? I was going to go in the gym, and maybe play some golf. <laughs> <laughs> to go golfing or go to the gym or do anything, and I'm paying your bills and I'm putting Apple Jacks in your everything, <laughs> you're not going to anywhere. I don't want to see you at, give me, give me your club pass. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up. My dad will just buy me something else if I 
mess this car up again. I won't mess it up again. I might. Are you very good at tennis? Oh, no. When you're rich, you don't have to be good at anything. You got pot? Yeah, tons. Pot and coke. Open up the glove compartment. Oh, cool. When you're rich, you always have pot and coke and glove compartment. Can you drive any faster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to goad me on. When you're rich, you need all of your poor friends to goad you into a dangerous thing. Slow down around that turn. Uh, I think what you're saying is I shouldn't slow down around that turn. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Shit. I think we crashed. Shit, I was sleepwalking. <laughs> yeah, when you're rich, you're always sleepwalking. <laughs> I see you've uh, put up some decorations here in your cube. <laughs> They're nice. They're nice. Very nice. So you really can't be putting up anything in the cube. <laughs> Can I do it next time? 
<laughs> not really. Not when the cars are in heat. So. <laughs> So I need like 50 bucks for gas. <laughs> okay, there you go. Where are you going tonight? What, what do you care? Well, see, well, see that's a little tracker in the car. I can track you on my iPhone app. Oh. <laughs> Everything's about that iPhone with you, Dad. Can I go? Not really. What time are you going to be home? Later, like sometime. Probably tonight. What? Who are you going out with? Whoever! What do you care? Who are you going out with? Mom and I are going to the country club for dinner. Well, I don't care! <laughs> so can I just go? No, not until you tell me where you're going. Fine. I'm going to go to this big rave in an abandoned sanitarium. <laughs> I'm gonna get high huffing glue and magic markers and paint and shit. I could, I could be wrong, but based on your last uh, report card, you might need to go to the library. Shut up. <laughs> you're like the worst dad ever. And your car keys are like lame. Lame how? Like, there's, there's keys. Every time I do a key bump off of it, everybody else is like, what's with those? I'm like, they're my dad's. And they're like, why don't you have your own car? And I'm like, because we're poor. <laughs> my dad only has an iPhone 3. <laughs> well, we try to do the best we can to make ends meet. So stupid, making ends meet. Guys, what is this? That depression thing? That Great Depression thing? <laughs> why don't you go back to the Great Depression when you were a kid or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> so can I go? Or am I going to get the third degree more? As long as you're home by midnight. Shh! Oh! house and have this nice car and all the nice things we have. Oh, oh, oh. So you, think, you think you could get me all of these nice things without me? You stay at home all the time. All you do is vacuum. Big deal. It takes you two I minutes. do not vacuum. <laughs> You try to do something like exercise, but you don't even exercise. You kind of just stand in one place and do this. That is exercise. Not really. I have, I have a $3,000 exercise program that taught me how to do that. Maybe you should hire a trainer. I did. He's the one that gave it to me. He was $3,000 ago. <laughs> no! Get more ice cream sandwiches when you're coming home from work tomorrow. Can you send me a text? Everything with you is about that fucking iPhone. <laughs> Greg! Yes? I want 
you to leave your wife. <laughs> no, you can only be happy with me. Check out this I love you app. <laughs> come true, isn't it? Not really. Yes, it is. I hear you at night. I can read your thoughts with this Read Your Thoughts app. At night, you dream. I wish my wife were not around and that my iPhone could come to life and I could be married to my iPhone. I only love my iPhone. Actually, it's the iPad now. You're behind the times. Pulling around on me with that big slut. Sorry. Come on, touch me. Just touch me one more time. I'm so sensitive to your touch. Don't position your hands wrong or I'll lose signal. some bad news about Jeff. We were doing a magic trick. <laughs> and I was going to make him invisible. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> but now I can't make him visible again. He's stuck. And I... And he was still there. And I could touch him, but he was invisible. Right. But then I forgot where I put him. I tried to retrace my steps. But my steps are often like this. <laughs> so they're like all over the place. <laughs> Magic was supposed to bring me st structure. Sounds like it brought you pain. Well, it's your son. <laughs> That's in insurance fraud, and that's a crime. No one will know he's missing. That's true. He was a real asshole. <laughs>